Hey, Periscope. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all having a happy Monday. Uh, y'all know I was going to chime in just to check on you guys, see how y'all doing. Hey, Tierica. I see you coming in. Hello, hello, hello. How y'all Monday is going? I hope it's going really great. We're going to have a great discussion today talking about vision. Welcome, Ron. Welcome, Dewana. Uh, how y'all doing today? I hope y'all had a great uh Welcome, George. Glad you're on. All right, I'm going to turn my camera around. Hey, hey, T. I'm going to turn my camera around. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Oh, there I am. Y'all, y'all know where I'm at. My favorite spot, the coffee shop. Okay, the sun is so bright. They have the blinds open. But anyway, how y'all doing today? Happy Monday, happy Monday. Hey, 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 Dewana. How are you? How are you? How y'all doing today? I hope you're having a great day. Can y'all hear me clearly? Because, of course, they have a lot that's happening here in the coffee shop. Uh, I'm good. Hi, Ron. I'm glad you're good. I'm glad you're good. Good. I'm glad y'all could hear us. All right. Yes, 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 yes. Thank y'all for joining with us. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to chime in. Happy Monday to you. I hope y'all having a great Monday. I am. Mondays are always good days for me. Tell me how you are. I am great. I'm great. The weather is great. Uh, I'm accomplishing some great things today. I'm here at PJ's, my favorite spot, the coffee shop. Got my little coffee. Y'all know how I do, right? I'm the coffee lady. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to chime in. I had um, really just some great uh, coaching sessions today. It was really, really great. And I was just so inspired and encouraged by uh, all that uh, God is doing in the lives of other people. And so I always want to uh, just come on to inspire you. For many of you that are new, I am Coach Geronda B. Thank you all for joining. Uh, my life vision and life purpose is LEAP, L-E-A-P. I am called to leaders. I am called to entrepreneurs. If you are author, I am called to authors as well as principal people. In all of those areas, I desire to help individuals take their life to the next level. If you are in leadership, uh, I have a passion for leaders. I have a passion for small businesses to see their um, businesses go to the next level as well as entrepreneurs. If you own your own business, desire to own your own business, I want to be there to help you uh, put some things in place to help you with your business as well as um, okay, uh, let's not talk about the sexiness, y'all. Y'all know I'm a good at blocking people. Uh, so uh, on my scope, as I stated, uh, everything that I share will uh, be catered toward leaders, entrepreneurs, authors, and principal people. And today, you know, like I stated, I had several sessions on today with individuals. Uh, I get excited and on fire when individuals have passion and vision. Uh, because uh, one thing I realize is if you are living a life without a vision, uh, your life is, is aimed to nowhere. You know, um, you got to have a vision. And as I begin to really just uh, share with them, uh, these particular women who are doing some great things in their community, who are putting some business plans in place, I begin to tell them, you know what, your gift is going to make room for you. There is something that people need that you have. And so I want you all to know that there is something that uh, you have that people need. And so your gift will make room for you. How you yeah, Dewan, I don't want to say I'm giving you a high five on that. And that comes, that's scriptural. You all know I'm a principal girl. I'm always going to give you the word of God. And in Proverbs 18 and 16, that's what it says. A man's gift will make room for him and bring him before greatness. So don't sleep on that, you guys. Your gift will make room for you. You don't have to be trying to um, push your way into no doors. No, God is going to open the door. Uh, I think I said this in my last scope, that there are people that are sitting around a table right now discussing your future, uh, discussing how to put you up and position you on their team. So I want you to get that. Proverbs 18 and 16, a man's gift will make room for him and bring him before greatness. And I know many of you can attest to that, that there's some doors that God has opened for you and it was simply because of your gift making room for you. And so I want to talk today about vision. Y'all, vision is so very important. Everyone should possess a vision. You have to have a vision for your life, not just for your life, but for your family. Uh, our pastor several weeks ago talked about that. Can you see it? You know, uh, you got to have a vision for your relationships. You have, a, have to have a vision for your business. You have to have a vision um, for your community. You know, don't walk around aimless without a vision. You see, vision is the art of seeing what is invisible before it's visible. Did you get that? 
Vision is seeing what is visible before what's invisible before it's visible which means you got to see and expect it in for your life and you got to have a vision for your life and i want to just encourage you to don't sleep on that take some time out ask god some questions what is my vision that's why i told you all in the very beginning of this scope i identified what my sole purpose is in life because i don't want to just be living like aimlessly so i know my focus i know my drive i know what wakes me up in the morning that is leaders that gets my my juices flowing when i could think about how to put and position leaders in the right place uh as i stated entrepreneurs that's my passion authors i'm a self-published author i love to hear and help other people who desire to write their own books so i have a passion for that that's what vision will do vision will give you the passion to be able to get up and do some things let me tell you a few things about vision first i want to say this quote because i remember my past even mentioned this quote and it blessed me and i still continue to quote this it's what helen keller says she says the only thing worse than being blind this is helen Kel helen keller many of us know her she was blind the only thing worse than being blind is having sight but no vision. You got that? The only thing worse uh, to being blind, he said, she says, is being is it's just not having vision. You got sight. And many of us got sight. You could see with your eyes, but do you have vision? Can you see an expected or preferred end for your life, for your finances? I want to tell you several things about vision, and then I'm going to talk about visionaries because I, y'all know I got to talk about that because I work around visionaries, and I have worked for several and served several visionaries, and I want to give you all principles. Uh, many of you who uh, work with visionaries and you serve visionaries, and, and you might get a tad bit frustrated, but I want to share something with you about those visionaries so you won't just uh, you know, throw in the towel, talk about you quit, and all that good stuff. But let me tell you something about a vision, because you all need to know this. Vision makes you get up early in the morning. A little bit louder, please. Okay, let's see. Uh, I think you might need to cut your uh, volume up, because mine is up. Um, but vision will make you get up early and stay up late. People call me a night owl. Uh, I get my proper sleep. But one thing about vision, vision just keeps bubbling on the inside of you. It makes you get up early. I'm not an early bird, but I stay up real late. So whatever works for you, just get the job done. Just start working on your vision. You know, so vision will make you get up early and it will make you stay up late. Get that. Don't be lazy. Because you know what? If you have vision, you can't be lazy. You see, everybody talks about what they're going to do or the dreams that they have. But guess what? When you die, the one thing you don't want to do is allow your vision or your dream to go to the cemetery with you. There are so many people who have died with greatness on the inside of them. Because you know what they did? Instead of working, they slept. Instead of putting a plan in place, they kept procrastinating. Y'all got to kill. We got to kill the spirit of procrastination. So vision, you got to understand, vision makes you get up early and then stay up late. There's nothing wrong with that. And then if people complain about the fact that you're staying up late, say, I'm working on something. You'll see the end. But you know what? <laughs> like I tell people, I say, you know what? I'm working on something. See, when I come in a coffee shop, yeah, I sip on my coffee. Yeah, I read a good book. But guess what? Before I walk outside of these doors, I'm going to have a plan of action of what I'm going to do the rest of the week. That's vision. Vision makes you get up early, stay up late. Look what else a vision does. Vision disciplines you. It, you know what? It disciplines you to the point where uh, you start putting some boundaries. Uh, you don't mind. You don't mind boundaries. You start putting boundaries around your life. You, 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 you make sure that you stay within bounds because you know what? We wonder why people do some of the craziest things, get caught up in some of the craziest stuff. It's because they have no vision. Because you know what vision does? Vision disciplines you. Vision makes you draw a line and say, oh, I better not cross this line because who knows where I end up. So vision will make you do that. Vision will make you put boundaries around uh, your time, boundaries uh, around various things that you find yourself out of bounds. So get that. That's what vision would do. But also, too, listen to this because this is a good one. Vision helps you eliminate foolishness in petty people and places. Y'all got that? Mm-hmm. Vision. Vision will do that. It helps you eliminate foolishness 
and petty people and petty places, which means, you know what, you'll start saying, you know what, I don't have time for this. Man, I got too much going on, too much that I have and uh, that God has in store for me. So guess what? I'm going to eliminate all the foolishness, all the petty people. I don't have time to be caught in drama. You know, that's what vision would do. Vision will cause you to say, you know what, this is petty. I dare not spend my time, spend my wills in this relationship, uh, on this job. You know, I have a vision for my life. And so you got to have vision, you guys. Yes. Yes, kid. Vision is key. Vision is key. So those are the three, the three things I want to share with you about vision. But this is what I want to tell you about visionaries. Because some of us, we work for people that are visionaries. Uh, I've worked in uh, leadership and corporate America with uh, visionaries. And y'all know one thing about visionaries, man, uh, they are driven. They are driven. Vision is everything. Yes, it is. You got to have a vision. You got to have a vision. If you don't have a vision, you're wandering around aimlessly. And so get a vision for every area of your life. Vision is an expected end. What is the end result? And then uh, that's the end result. You have to start putting some things in place in order to move forward. You're welcome. Welcome, kid. I'm, uh, you're welcome. Uh, I don't know your name. Tell me your name. I'm calling you kid, uh, but tell me your name. But listen, I want to talk to those of you that work for visionaries because some of you entrepreneurs on this line, you're going to have people working for you and you got to have them understand, uh, you know, how you operate. And, and, and they have to understand that you are a seer. Y'all better get this. All right, Bill. All right, cool, Bill. Thank you for joining our scope. Um, and uh, so as I stated about visionaries, you guys, visionaries are seers. How many of you on this uh, particular scope are seers? Meaning, boy, you wake up and you see stuff. You, you know, you'd be like, God, you showed me something else to do. You, you, you know, you showed me another vision for the community. You showed me another vision for my life and something else to work on for my family. Visionaries are seers. So they're going to always have something to share with you about what they see. And you got to get that. Visionaries are seers. So don't get frustrated because your boss call you in the office and say, hey, hey, come on. Let me uh, share with you what I just saw. Or oh, what well, God spoke into my spirit. No, you, he's a seer. She's a seer. So visionaries are seers. So you got to understand that, okay? So keep that in mind. Visionaries are seers, which means that they're going to be coming. God is going to be speaking to them various things late at night, early in the morning. Uh, I remember T.D. Jakes even shared how it was that he was on the phone with his staff like 3 in the morning. And that's because he was seeing stuff at 3 in the morning. He was calling people. It's pretty hard to apply it sometimes. Yes, it is. It is pretty hard to apply. Hey, Candy, hadn't seen you in a long time. Welcome. But, yeah, it's, it's pretty hard. But you got to understand they are seers. So you are a seer. I don't know about you, but God constantly gives me plans and programs and, and instance, for me to institute uh, titles for books and uh, e-books and, you know, what to do in the community. I mean, it just sometimes become overwhelming. That's why a visionary should always have a notepad and a pen <laughs> right by their side. Always. Use your phone. That's my daily assignment. Yep. You, you know, use your phone to capture stuff. But anyway, I want to talk about you so you won't get frustrated. If you work for a visionary, if you are a visionary yourself, come on. God is showing you stuff because there's something he wants you to do. So visionaries are seers. But this is another thing. Visionaries, they are very productive. Very productive. You don't find visionaries wasting time. You know, when they cast vision, trust me, they're going on to something else. They are not lazy people. They are very much individuals who is gonna uh, get who have a get up and a go about them, you guys. So they're very, very, very productive. You know, so if you gonna work for a visionary, you gotta understand they're very, very productive. But not only are they very productive, but they're motivated, highly motivated. That's me. Yep, Candy. <laughs> That's you, huh, Candy? Yeah, they're very 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 motivated and so since you know that they're they're motivated or that's you you're very motivated don't allow anyone to keep you or to stunt your motivation you guys come on you got to get serious about your vision okay so as I stated visionaries are seers they are productive and as I stated, they are motivated. And then most importantly, they are very disciplined. They're very disciplined, meaning they have their things to do list every day, every night prior to the next day. They're planning. They're putting together, uh, you know, pre-planning. Sometimes things don't work out 
uh, according to plan all the time, but at least they have a plan. So visionaries have plans, okay? So you guys have to understand they are planners, they are disciplined. The enemy tries to keep distractions going. That's right. That's his, that's his MO, to distract you. But you can't become distracted. You got to be focused. You know, when I come into the coffee shop, sometimes I can't be focused in my own house. And it's just me and my house. And I seem can't get focused in my own house. You know why? Because the bed be calling my name. The sofa be calling my name. Television be calling my name. Come on, if you're a visionary, you don't have time sometimes to be in the bed or looking, using my husband. <laughs> yeah, you know what? The thing is, sometimes you just have to let him know, and I'm sure he has vision. Help him get a vision. You know what? When both of you are working on a vision together, that's a wonderful thing. Uh, so that's the prayer you need to be praying, Candy. God, give my husband a vision so that we can both be working towards something. Because you know what? I realize that in your, if you're in relationship with people that don't have a vision or you have friends that don't have a vision, guess what happens? They have a tendency of slowing you down. No, they have a tendency of slowing you down. You have to, you have to, you have to pray. Lord, give them a vision. You know, because that's the ones that's always calling and saying, "When you're coming home, you know, uh, wanting just to do this and do that." No, you need to tell them we're building something together. Okay, so since we're building something together, let's sit down here and let's build it together. I'm just trying to leave a legacy for the family. You know, you got to speak to them. So what I'm saying is, Candy. And for those of you out there, that's why you have to connect with the right people, people who have vision. Hey, Greg, so glad you're on. You got to connect with people who have a vision because if you don't, they're going to slow you down. And not only that, they're going to become a weight to you. You know what a weight is? A weight slows you down, but then it holds you back. So you have to understand that. Man, that's so serious. So that's why I said a visionary is disciplined. So you all have to be disciplined. So I wanted to, like I said, speak to you about vision, then speak to you about visionaries but this is my last point my last little section and then I'm gone I want to because you know what I hear people and I counsel and I and I coach individuals that say oh elder oh one day I want to be an executive assistant or a personal assistant to uh, I had my you unique shirt on you did look I got mine on too wow 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 yeah you are unique you had your shirt on excellent those of you that's on the call, y'all need to get my shirt. You are a unique shirt, okay? Go to my website, get your shirt because you are unique. Um, but anyway, yeah, Candy, thank you for representing the You Are Unique movement. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, so I hear people often say, I want to work for a celebrity. I want to be a personal assistant. All right, Greg, yeah. I want to be a personal assistant to somebody great. Do you really want that particular position because it's going to cause you to work baby it's going to cause you <laughs> you got to live a disciplined life if you want to work for people who are highly 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 like busy and motivated www are you publishing yes that's where you get my shirt from thank you george for putting that in there god sure is great welcome paper madden i'm glad you're on but listen you guys so i hear them often say they want to work for celebrities or be a personal assistant or an executive assistant or a ceo of a company and all this stuff all oh, that sounds wonderful but you know what if you are not ready for it it will kill you it will overwhelm you so this is some tips that i want to share with you that's going to help you because i've worked with so many great Great people so many great men and women of God busy travel around the world international God has really blessed me and I thank him for it but this is what God showed me he said this is some things that I need individuals to understand especially if they're gonna work and serve in ministry uh, in corporate America with visionaries this is one thing I, I have to tell many people that I coach if you're gonna everybody needs to hear this amen yes thank you I'll, all of you I want you all to share it because we're talking about vision visionaries and what never to do if you work for a visionary okay so this is it you guys this is a tip tip number one never come in the presence of a visionary without pen and paper or your smartphone did you get that never ever Never ever come in the presence of a visionary without a pen or paper or your smartphone to take notes. I've made that mistake before. Uh, heart it up for the elder. Thank you for the hearts, Candy. Oh, thank you, Candy. Uh, thank you, Greg. Yes, you feel me on that, Greg? You know what? Because I made a mistake. Back in the days, I made a mistake where I, I was called in the office by my boss and you know they were like oh Geronda I need to see you okay I get in the office not knowing 
all that they was going to spill out. So here I am like, oh, Lord, I dare not walk out of here and say, hold up, let me get a pe pen and paper. So I decide that I'm just going to try to remember this from the top of my head. I figured, oh, well, he could never have, um, you know, more than one or three points, right? Oh, oh, my God, I was just so overwhelmed. So I was like, oh, can I go get a notepad? And then it's like, uh, let's see, hey, think so rapidly. They need help and can't keep track of all of it. That's right. That's right. So then I said, oh, let me get a notepad. Okay. So when I got the notepad, that's the most frustrating thing for a visionary because they've already spilled out to you their vision. And you expect them to go back and repeat it? Come on, you guys. You want to be excellent in what you do. So I realized, I said, this is one of my um, never-to-dos that I'm going to make note of. I will never go in the presence of you.